guys, it's Holly. Welcome back. If you are new here, I do a lot of cooking, travel, homeschooling, and motherhood videos. In today's video, I am talking homeschooling, and I wanted to do a flip through today of a vocabulary book that we started using this year for seventh grade. Now, in the past, I have done a video sharing Spectrum vocabulary workbooks. That is what we were using before, but Spectrum vocabulary only went to sixth grade. And this year, since my daughter was in seventh grade, I needed to find a new vocabulary workbook. So I searched and researched until I came across this vocabulary workbook and I actually have really liked it. While vocabulary isn't that big to do with your homeschooling, with your child's education, I mean, you can homeschool without having them do a vocabulary workbook, but I strongly recommend doing something for vocabulary because I believe it's really important to expand my kids' knowledge of words and help them learn about new words, how you can use words in sentences. And to be honest, my seventh grader actually loves loves her vocabulary workbook and she looks forward to doing it. Anyhow, I'm gonna do a flip through right now to show you what this book looks like, what to expect. I don't know about you, but I really like book flip throughs when I'm ordering books because face it, these days we order everything online and half the time they don't show you enough of the pages inside. So you really don't know what you're getting until it gets to you. I hope this is helpful. I hope that this gives you a good understanding of this particular book and helps you decide if you are trying to find a vocabulary book right now for your seventh grader. Let me get into it right now and share with you our vocabulary workbook for seventh grade. You can see right on the cover that it is perfect for homeschooling. And yes, while it is perfect for homeschooling, it is also great for non-homeschooling students. If you want your child to get better at their vocabulary, it also is nice to have maybe to work on over the summertime. Getting into the book here, I will share at the beginning, it has its table of content. It also has an introduction as well as how to use the book and notes for parents and teachers. Just some additional information that it gives you. Then getting into the lessons, you will see that this is how a typical lesson is gonna look. In each lesson, there will be a variety of words that the student will work on, and then there'll be different sections that they are gonna fill out. This part right here in the yellow is going to be the stuff they fill out where there'll be answers in the back. In addition, sometimes there'll be a second part to it. In this case, it was a verbal answer, and this might be good for your child to work on either with you or with a sibling. They don't always have written questions. Sometimes they are verbal. And going right now to the very back of the book, here is what the answer key looks like. So here is, for instance, lesson one in the answers provided. Sometimes the answers will say answers will vary, but not too often. For the most part, they have all the answers and when it does say answers will vary, there is reason why. Also in the back of the book, they have this pronunciation guide. This pronunciation guide, which I think is really nice because some of the words they introduce in this book might have some unusual letters in it. For instance, those vowels with dots over them. It really is a good feature to have. Along with that, they have definitions for all the words that are used in this workbook. And you could see it's broken down by chapter. So all the words they are gonna focus on, they will have the definitions in here. Now, while I do prefer my kids to learn how to look things up in a dictionary, I still think this is a great feature. It's just nice and convenient. Plus sometimes the words my kids have to look up aren't even in the dictionaries that we have. As well in the back of the book, they'll have further resources, acknowledgements about the author, just different things for you to read up on. But you can see just how this book is laid out overall. They will have these different lessons for your student to work on, and they're all pretty much similar to each other, except they will focus on a handful of words for each lesson. And it really is nice to focus on these words and how they are used in sentences. It's a great addition to any curriculum.
you'll have your lessons. There are 36 lessons in all, and then there will be all the stuff here in the back, including the answer key. That is the vocabulary workbook for seventh grade. And I recommend it. I think it is a good vocabulary book to have in your home. And as I said before, even if you're not a homeschooling parent, it still is nice to have for your child. There you have it. I hope this was helpful. I hope this gave you a good understanding of this particular workbook and help you decide if it's gonna work for your child or not. I will have a link for this book in the description box below if you wanna find it more easily. If you enjoyed this video or got anything out of it, please hit the like button. I appreciate you watching and may you have a beautiful day.